Hi, this is Cuddyback Digital. Today we will walk you through the user interface when setting up your CuddyLink network. All the settings explained in this video are in the CuddyLink menu. For this particular video, we will show you how to set up your remote camera. To access the CuddyLink menu, press the Mode button until commands appear on the LCD. Then press the More button until CuddyLink menu appears. Once this is displayed, press Up and then up again to confirm. The first item displayed is Cuddy Link Mode. Under this setting, you can change the range to one of the following. Home, Remote, Repeater, and Off. Since we are setting up the remote camera, we will change this to Remote. Press the More button and Cuddy Link Location will display on the LCD. This setting is important, so we recommend all cameras should have a unique CuddyLink location number. In the previous home user interface video, we set the home camera to location 001. We will now set up the remote camera as location 002. Use the up or down buttons to change the location ID. Any additional remote cameras that need to be set up should be set up as 003, 004, and so on. This is a location ID number used to identify each camera in the CuddyLink network. Press the More button and the camera will display CuddyLink channel on the LCD. You have a total of 16 channels to choose from and the up or down buttons will change the channels. When we set up our home camera, this was set to channel 4. Since we selected channel 4 for the home camera, we will need to set all the remote cameras to channel 4 as well. If you do not select the same channel as the home camera, your CuddyLink system will not connect. Press the More button and CuddyLink Delay will appear on the LCD. We recommend you leave this to the default setting, which is five seconds. Press the More button and CuddyLink Count will appear on the LCD. We will not adjust the setting for the CuddyLink Count either, as we will cover both of these menus in greater detail in a future video. Press the More button and CuddyLink Level will display. At first, four dashes will be displayed to indicate no signal. After a minute or two, a number will appear that represents the signal strength. If the signal is displayed, you can arm and deploy the camera. After a signal is received, you must arm the camera before deploying additional remote cameras. Press the mode button until arm is selected to arm the cameras. Now both your home and remote cameras are set up properly for the CuddyLink network. All CuddyLink cameras must have an SD card installed for the system to work. We recommend watching our videos on deploying your home and remote cameras in the field to better understand setting up your CuddyLink network. For any additional questions on our products, feel free to contact our customer support at 920-347-3810. Thanks for watching.